Thank you for watching this video on the ICICation YouTube channel. Please feel free to leave comments or to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Welcome to Terry's TV show for Brickworld 2023. This Lego built TV set was specifically built for running this video at Brickworld. The screen has the tablet inside, but the outside of the TV replicates an old time TV set. The entire model measures 15 inches across, 5 inches front to back, 10 inches high, plus the 4 inches rabbit ears. It features the same kind of knobs that the old TV sets used to have. VHF channel selector, UHF channel selector, volume control, color, and hue. These are just some of my tribute models. I call them tribute models because they're reminders of people who I have lost or things that I have no longer have. Recently, I lost my cousin Lori. And so for Thanksgiving, I bought a flower bouquet to be at the table in her honor. And when I saw the vase that it came in, the first thing I thought of is Lego fish bowl. So this is now Lego's, this is now Lori's Lego fishbowl in memory of my cousin. When I was younger, we had an aquarium. We had a couple of guppies that it started out with. And if you know anything about guppies, soon the entire tank was filled with guppies. I've always liked aquariums. And so I built a Lego aquarium with plenty of aquatic things, including two drawers that pull out for supplies. At Brick World, this is going to be on a stand with the fishbowl underneath it. My mom used to love to play the piano, and building a Lego piano true to scale would have been way too wide. So I made her piano organ style with two sets of keys instead of just one long keyboard. So this is a tribute to my mom. On my website, I also have a page dedicated to Lego kits. These are just simple, small builds that kids can do that can spark ideas for maybe bigger creations. On the far left, you'll see I have two holes of mini golf. Then there's a tall cactus, a dice, a bow tie, and then there's two animals, the small animals and a big long necked giraffe animal. And there's a couple of pinwheels or windmills. And then these models down here we did for library. Um, the one on the left is the reading nook along with the two shelf bookcase. And then the first one that we did for the library was the castle. There's instructions for many of these, both in PDF form and video, on my website. I've also created several animals. This up here is a cow. Some people call it a dog. That's fine. But it's a cow, paying tribute to my cousin who loved cows. And then we have a similar build of a sheep. The sheep is all white, so you can use about the same kind of frame and just make a different color to represent a different animal. Here we have what I call my angry oversized mosquito. He's angry because he knows I'm about to swat it. Then we have a beetle and a little turtle and a centipede. Here's a couple of my miscellaneous builds. To the left is the park tree, this little tree in the middle of a city park. It's got a little ladder and it's got a tire swing on it. In the middle we have my cup in it. Now it's a little cabinet drawer but it has a cup as a drawer hold, um, handle. So I call it a cup in it. And it really does open and close and we use this to show kids how you can make sliding pieces. And finally 
little smiley face to have a happy day after looking at all the nice Lego creations. Enjoy. These are two other buildings that I have. On the right is a stage which I built for the local library event featuring musical instruments, mostly guitars, pianos, drums, microphones, and it came out pretty cool for a simple little model. Then over here we have my control tower and it's got a little place up here for all the people that are monitoring all the traffic that goes around and then it's got the spiral staircase that gets you down to the ground. These are some of my Lego small vehicles. We're going to start with a little pet rescue, which I usually decorate with animals during display. This is just a generic panel van. This is my brand new all-terrain vehicle. It's got large wheels, high bumpers, so it can go over most any terrain. This is my Carbopla. It's a car, it's a boat, and it's a plane all at the same time. You can get around in many different ways. This here is just a simple little thing I created, a Buzz Lightyear in a little helicopter. This is an ice cream van, just like your old ice cream carts. This is just a simple little car. It fits four minifigures. And then this is just a little shopping cart type of cart, or a trailer. These are just some of my vehicles that I display. Here we simply have a delivery van. The sides fold open for easy access to the contents. Here's an ambulance. We have a nurse inside. We have a little injured person on a stretcher. This is what I call my duo van. The duo van has compartments for driver both in the front and the back so you can pull into a parking space and then go to the other side to pull out of the parking space no backing out of parking spaces anymore and the middle has storage space this is my tribute to libraries it's a bookmobile where the walls fold out, fold out they have books and there's more books inside and the back has a reading area this last one is my answer to Lego's little cherry picker, which reaches very, very small. Mine is greatly extended boom. Mine can reach several stories high. Sometimes I just do small buildings, which are kind of also fun. So we have a gazebo with a guy playing a guitar and another one with a boombox and guitar we have a little orange utility shed we have a restroom with real furnishings and then we have just a little either outdoor um, shed or utility shed this is just a couple of my smaller buildings going to start on the end here. This is Ned's Snack Shop. Now this just started out to be just a regular snack shop and I had the color in yellow and you can see the contents inside because I have the roof removed. But after I had built this I came up with a Ned from the TV show Simpsons character and he just kind of fit right in because of his shirt. I also built a sandwich shop, which I originally called a sub shop, but people thought that the sandwich sign wasn't really f long enough to be a sub sandwich, so now I just call it a sandwich shop. But it has all the internal parts to make a sandwich. And then finally my modified ticket and photo booth, along with an upstairs administration. My Lego modular apartment building is another model that I'm very proud of. This particular one has a bank at the bottom 
and a laundromat also at the bottom. The second floor is an apartment, and then the top is a patio area for the residents of the apartment. This set was built somewhat from the Lego Brick Bank set, but it has several other features and the layout is totally different. Here, the revolving door at the bottom, which really works, feeds to the stairway to the apartment. The model comes in actually three segments, so during display events I can remove the roof and the second floor to allow visitors to have view of the entire insides. I have a few mechanical Lego models too. Over here we have a Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel really does spin and over here there's a connection for a motor so it can be motorized. Here is my latest creation. It's a toaster and you can put the toast in and it actually can drop the toast down. Toast goes down, toast comes back up. 